Hey guys, welcome back, Marius here and today we have still grounded and this time let's talk quickly about armor, bonuses, sets and everything you need to know. And I am pushed to make this video because be aware, this is the first tip for you. If you do something like this, like me, and you put them on display, uh, be aware that sometimes you will come here and you will see this this mannequin this is absolutely empty so yes it's it seems like a weird bug where it is visually disappearing and it somehow is there but anyways i i've been loading back game again and again because i'm running to just, just bypassing and I'm seeing, oh, one of my armors is gone, so I can't make video. So if some cheap leaf armor is gone, that's easy. I have replaced a few times. But this, this B armor, there's only one. And if you lose it, be aware. Just, I think if you store them in a box, it's safer. But, well, I had to display it for you. So let's jump right to the point. There are few armors that uh, don't have armor bonuses. One of them, and yeah, I'm displaying them so you see how ugly they are. So, for example, you have, uh, you can make gas mask that is literally uh, allowing you to go through the gas. There's a particular gas guard, no defense, but you can go in haze. So that's part in the map, if I remember correctly, all this area is under Huge, huge gap, so you need that. Then there's also a uh, might hat that gives hyper stamina. But there is other, there are other ad sets that actually give stamina, uh, hyper stamina, uh, with bo b better bonuses and more defense. So this is also just, I don't know, at the beginning you might use it, whatever suits you, right? So these are two hats. Third hat, though, that's headgear, is eye patch. Eye patch that gives extra damage. It's hard for me to tell and, and how to say it properly measure how much of a boost. But these boosts are mostly a little up to ten. Well, when I mean 10, 15 percent. In terms of speed, it seems like pretty. I don't know, some 20 something. We are guessing because we don't know science numbers, at least nothing you can actually precisely measure and give the right amount. So yeah, this is a eye patch. They have these bonuses. You can see them before you build them. Here is uh, Apid Slippers, absolutely greatest. At least I thought so. So they give you uh, increased speed, which is amazing. What is not amazing, uh, be aware whenever you receive damage that's that's regarding all armors when you receive damage well spider or someone is biting you uh, this durability goes down these slippers also receive damage from fall damage and they are really not durable they are really few falls i don't know few ants a little bit biting even if they take a little bit of your health these slippers will break down really fast so if you thought think like i thought it will be cool um, combo i don't know extra damage and speed for i don't know some ex exploration be aware damage and the problem is you will run away you will have some damage and then you will slowly crawl back because whenever it's br uh, the armor part is broke down broken down uh, immediately you lose the fan bonus and you lose the uh, this this bonus that it gives so this quickness will disappear immediately all right so now back to awesome part let's take a look at and don't don't pay attention to the water i'm thirsty that's specifically i'm doing that so i need to get my um, health low as possible so one thing you need to understand about these um, bonuses. One bonus is when you click on an item and you can read, it gives fuller, fuller, fuller. Basically, every set 
every three pieces will give this little bonus and you can multiply it by three so literally this bonus you will have from three items but once you wear them all here you see ah, damn it my big head is in in, in front of it uh, let me move me aside because I'm not that important. So you see here we can read the actual bonus which says moist and let me translate it what it means and that's literally this video is about. So when you have all this set you this fuller you can read most of the stats you can read here but these armor bonus uh, bonuses are something weird that are not mentioned here so ma many of you are wondering what the hell is this so you can find a fuller here stay full longer which means uh, you need uh, that the hungry you are less hungry well you get the idea you don't need as much food for the period of time all right so that is when you wear these three parts and moist is not written but it is uh, you need less water as well. So this whole set, especially in the beginning when you don't have all water and, and food source, extends the time you can spend without eating and drinking. So this is good. All right, too much spent. And the thing is, it's really cheap. Uh, trust me, don't don't spend your um, your your resources on. Uh, Repairing it, it's faster to just build a new one. All right, when that's out of the way, in my opinion, next easiest to acquire would be uh, the same. Okay, let's take this one. I have war, <laughs> a bit worn out, uh, but this is, and in my opinion, in the beginning of the game slash mid game, this is the best arm. Why best? Because it provides a lot of defense uh, keeping in mind it's only first um, first level first level uh, armor why it differs because first and second level uh, armors use different items to be repaired and the second one is pretty let's say hard to get okay one thing at a time so as first level armor this is pretty decent and it's easy to acquire um, parts in the crafting you can quite uh, fast see uh, what's needed I don't need I will not go in details but basically these are easy to easy easy get basically acorn shells are the hardest and still it's as much as going to the tree smashing acorns and you have this set I used uh, this this armor for most of my playtime honestly and so what we see here this is each and every one of them give you max health you have more health awesome you can fight and this is armor and this set bonus uncrackable uh it gives you more you can receive more damage while blocking um when until you get um get down so how it works whenever you are in a fight when you block this meter, you see this blue, bo uh, blue bar, uh, it fills up with every incoming damage. When it is full, and it's just slowly the case, when it's full, you will be down, you will be stunned, and you need to get up, uh, and, and in that time you are defenseless, you receive damage. So when you have this armor, uh, that, that bar, it, it's the same amount, but incoming damage you can take more damage before you get stunned and if you fight back it gives you more chance probably you will kill bugs faster and you will not get down so this is really fighting gear this is defense as, as, as defense it can be and of course you can see also how it looks pretty pretty cool i'd say uh, next in my opinion easiest to acquire is ant ant gear one of the best uh, gears to use and I will explain why no-brainer it's really if you think about it it's pretty cheap to build as well and by cheap I mean uh, only thing you need the same my fuzz nothing nothing fiber and parts and parts we have 
I don't know how about you, but literally killing Ant is not a big deal. And the Ant head is a little bit rare um, drop, but it can drop also from uh, workers. You don't need to kill actually warrior uh, soldier ants. These are still warrior, uh, the, the worker ants. And you can acquire this, this um, gear. If you are asking what this gear does, you can hear, see this is Howling Strength. And this is the reason why this uh, armor will be used whole game. Beginning, mid, end game, late game, whatever game, this will be the set. Why? Because of this Howling Strength. Uh, okay, side of, this side effect, uh, set bonus human is every ant you encounter will be friendly. They, the soldiers are, workers are normally friendly, uh, soldiers are the ones that see you, attack you, but if you are kind of disguised, they're all friendly. Keep in mind, if you start attacking them, they will fight back, they will get angry. Not only the one ant you hit, but if they are near, and I need to point out near, they will all aggro and get on you. I think the distance is pretty sharp because I've I've killed some ants that are, I don't know, a little bit further away and they're like, ah, no, not my business, all right? But let me highlight, this is one of my favorite suits and it's really easy to acquire. Let me show you why. Uh, I'll just quick demonstration so you find, get what the howling strength is. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. You can pick eight items. And why I mentioned this, especially I would say in the end game, late game, when you build some crazy stuff and, and, and what, whatever, with this armor gear, you can carry eight items at a time. How cool is that? And if you are wondering why eight, it is because every single piece gives one bonus you have three pieces so that's how you see you have extra strength to carry more items all right great cool uh that's ant armor and as you can see I'm, I'm wearing it all the time extra thing extra thing whenever you are going after ant eggs which are located somewhere here in ant hill in that direction no that direction anyways and you understand that disguise is absolutely needed. And when you are disguised as an ant, this, this set bonus, you can snatch those ant eggs and no one will say nothing. Even if they are in front of you, there's no aggro or nothing. You just go collect uh, the, the, those eggs. Absolutely amazing. Did I also mention in ant hill, there is quartzite. So if you obtain full set, this is the spot where you can go and farm quartzite. The, it's uh, respawning there as well and ants will not uh, touch you so easy way to get quartzite be mindful my other tip my other videos mentioned um, the larva cave there you have also drops in ant hill there will be only quartzite if you go disguised okay okay cool uh next armor in my opinion well, ladybug armor and okay, okay. Let's let's move with this one. So once you acquired ant armor, you can easily uh, go and see everything what's going on in ant hill. And if you are disguised, you will find you can find in ant hill in this one huge where ants are living. You will see these three pieces. This is B. B face mask and, and shoulder pads and guards, but they are all rotten. So the rotten is, let's say, the side effect. This armor don't have any set bonus. It only gives bonus per per piece. So for example, let me give you an example. You can sprint sprint distance. So it means if you the stamina usage while you're sprinting not eating not using any other things but for sprinting you can I assume run a bit further and you have the bonuses three times 
what I wanted to mention, remember we had this awesome headgear and, and, and shoes, but there is nothing to, to wear. So you can borrow this one from, from here if you want to, because the, the defense is quite okay. I would prefer any other, but well, just, just an open, all right? And well, honestly, it looks really awesome. Then the look, this is pretty amazing looking gear. That, that's the only thing. And you can acquire, as I said, easily from Ant Hill if you get Ant Armor uh, the first. So next, next easiest to acquire. So this is, here I have a little bit um, bad news. No one, absolutely no one knows what the hell this side effect is. Plump and juicy, there's a guess. It gives more food and drink when you drink. I tested, it doesn't. So it's still to be discovered what the hell this bonus is. Defense is pretty weak and max stamina is what it gives. And I've tested, uh, I think with the axe, normally you can hit eight times. With this armor, you can hit 10 times. So it's quite significant boost, but if you keep in mind that defense is weak, and we don't know the side effect, nothing that have been tested so far, proven uh, right. Yeah, and why why this, in my opinion, this set is kind of hard, harder than every previously to acquire. The reason is not because you need to kill some, some I don't know, spider or something. You need grub hide. You need three, eight, and 12. 12. And those grubs around the tree are three, four, sometimes in the caves there are two, three, sometimes you find. And they are just harder to, let's say, farm. And I just, this is one of the latest uh, sets I build myself. And in my opinion, it's not worth, the ant set is absolutely better than, than, than the grub set, in my opinion. And yeah, all it takes is digging out a few grubs and, and you can craft it honestly it's also pretty ugly looking these eyes come on come on you are literally in a grub ah, yeah so now three armors armor sets i want to highlight first one was definitely spider uh, no, not the spider sorry the ant because you can whenever you build something you want to wear this because you can, uh, you can um, carry a lot of things. When you want to fight, finally, and you want to be kind of sure you will kill those damn spiders, get Ladybug uh, armor. And honestly, it's not hard to obtain as well. You need to kill few Ladybugs, yes. So if you can kill Ladybug, you can start thinking about getting this, this um, armor. This armor, these three pieces themselves are giving blocking strength. This is the blocking strength I explained already with, with Acorn armor set. Their set bonus was blocking strength, how much you can block. Uh, here, all three pieces give you that strength. So you have, and this is the highest defense armor currently available in the game. No, no other armor give as much defense, which means you can you receive damage, you're like, ah, pff, that's all you got. And side effect, this the, the bonus, uh, Scarlet Embrace, when you have all three parts, health is slowly, but regenerating. It's not very useful when you fight, for example, um, the, the, the wolf spider, because this, the fight is not as long, so this regeneration is not taking, let's say, it doesn't work long enough to have huge effect, but you have really high defense and you can block way more before you are stunned. So those two bonuses are absolutely needed. Uh, and and they, when you wear something like this, nah, you have more confidence as well. All right, all right. And then there is just last armor, which as, as game suggests, hardest to obtain once you get it i will say yes this is the third armor i want to highlight and this is hard to get this is spider armor but 
it's absolutely one of the three best armor sets. Why? Because remember, you had Riper's stamina. Let me, let me, where it was? Yeah, here, here. No, 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 no. Where was Kuiper's stamina? Some one of the bonuses gave Kuiper's stamina. I don't remember which one. Yeah, uh, this stupid crap. So you have Kuiper's stamina, and then you have this Kuiper's stamina. I don't know why these these icons change, but Kuiper's stamina is Kuiper's stamina, right? So I think I'll check. But look at the defense. So if you are wondering if you want to might hat or you have spider hood, well, ponder no more. It's, uh, yeah, spider is better. And let me quickly check. Yeah, hyper stamina means you gain stamina faster, but the icon for the other one is a little bit different. So yeah, they need to figure this thing out, but that's not it. Let me quickly think if I remember correctly. So Ladybug has the highest defense. Pure, pure defense. This, yeah. Even higher. This is the second best armor value, right? The defense, pure defense. Uh, hyper stamina regenerates uh, your, your stamina faster. So that's slow less time between waiting when you can start hitting again but what is most importantly this set bonus hunter's prowess gives you speed it not only gives you speed where these two are coming in in the play as you can see we are talking about totally different defense uh, the set bonus itself, right? The set bonus, you can't wear only spider knee pads, you need all three items. But once you wear all three of them, you have increased speed. And these pads are way more durable, they can receive more damage, the fall damage and everything, and everything, and you will keep running. Where instead, if you are with these aphid slippers, you will smash them in no time and slowly coming back angry to those stupid slippers. So why I like this spider armor, despite the fact that fence is lower than ladybug, you have the speed. You have the armor and you have the speed, decent armor and speed. And yeah, of course, hyper stamina. stamina. So this is something, uh, whenever you go exploring and you will encounter bugs and you need to run away and you need stamina, spider armor is the armor right this is i actually killed also the web sp uh, bull spider you can kill that the defense is enough and the hyper stamina gives you more uh, swing time right uh but if i know exactly i will go hunt uh, those wolf spider i will choose ladybug armor simple that and when i build something i will use and armor or for the extra three items I can carry. All right, these three armors are the ones you need to focus on in early game, absolutely early. Of course, there is no reason to run around naked. And by naked, I mean without armor. So when you don't have any other armor, grab the one you have, even if they are just parts, one part or two parts, it's better than nothing, All right? So guys, I hope you learned that yeah. now, now they can disappear, I don't care. So you know everything about set pieces themselves. And once you combine all three, you have the set bonus. And yeah, if you have any questions, just let me down. Uh, let me know in the comment section and we will see next videos. Cheers.